Okay. Okay, hoodie. Enough is enough. Step away from the book. You've read it a dozen times, and it's not getting any clearer. We'll just have to go see Henry in the morning. That's what we'll do. We'll head over to town. We'll see Henry. He's probably asleep right now, so there's really nothing I can do. Okay, I'm going to try one more time to get some shut-eye. Just close your eyes, think happy thoughts, count sheep. Oh, who am I kidding? Tossing and turning. I can't sleep. <sighs> Thinking about Mom and Henry and the light mages and the sacrifices they've made for the realms. For me? I can't sleep. In my dark days ahead. I've got to face the Ender Dragon. The Dark Lord himself, who's my dad? That doesn't make any sense. And why is he trying to help me? I really need to see Henry. He'll have the answers. Okay, let's try one more time. Let's get some shot eye. Go see Henry in the morning. And he'll clear all this up for us. <sighs> um, hmm. Man. Still tired. But at least I got some shot eye. What time is it anyway? Well, the rain has stopped at least. Is that the... Is that the sun? Oh no! Oh no, it's like midday! Egads! I slept in! I gotta get moving! Henry's gonna be gone! He gets up so early! Ooh, grab the book, grab the book! So many questions for him. About my dad, Benicio, the Dark Lord. And how is that even possible? Since he's trying to help me too. Okay, we gotta get over there quickly. He might still be around, but Henry is notorious for just disappearing for days! Come on, Zoki. Fly, fly, fly! Oh no, it's like noon! Okay. Uh, he's usually out in the gardens, walking around town, doing hedge wizardry things, but I don't see him. Hey, uh, where's Henry? Is he still around? Uh oh. Henry! That's not Henry. Henry! Wait, did I just see blue? I think I just saw blue. No? I thought I saw his robes. Oh, dang it, why did I sleep in? So many questions for him. I know he's got the answers. He's the one that wrote this book. Now let's check his, uh... Let's check his house. Doors open. Hmm. That's interesting. Henry? Oh, well, let me see if I can see him from up here. Henry! Nothing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, let's go check these other rooms over here. I know sometimes he still still goes into my old room. Yeah, I haven't been here in a long time. Hoodie's crib. Keep out. Such an angsty teen, wasn't I? Wow, it's been a long time since I've been here. Cobwebs growing up. Let me just clear those out. Well, I don't know what happened to Henry. Ah, yeah, the old skull I found out in the woods. Some kind of human skull, in fact. Interesting, that. Shark tooth. Study guides. Oh, yeah. My old posters. Oh, but no, my bush is dead. Oh, well. Oh, shoot. Well, I don't think he's here. What are we going to do? I need answers. I wonder if there's anything in his apartment that might shed some light. He's not walking around town or out in the woods. He tends to do that. You know what? I've never done this before. But I might have to rummage through his stuff. I need answers. Mm. Mm. Starving too. You want some? Here. No? Good. Beat it. Alright, let's close the door. I want this to get back to Henry. I'm gonna rummage through his stuff. Maybe there's some clues here. I, I must know. He's gotta have something behind here. Left behind. That could give me a clue. Magic Mounts by Horse Nut 77. No, I, I'm, a, I'm familiar with all those books. Not helpful. Not helpful. Under the bed. Well, wait a minute. Henry's a wizard. Let's try something. True sight. True sight. If there's anything here, my true sight will reveal it. Shh, dog. <gasps> Illusory block. Oh, 
What the? He's got a little basement. What is this? Magi mail. Inbox. Magi mail. Outbox. Magi mail. Trash bin. Oh, I've heard of this. Yeah, he's got some kind of a magical message system. There's nothing. Oh, well, I don't own any dogs, so I don't have to worry about that one. Sounds like a fox and a dog fighting. Outbox. Yeah, so you can magically send messages to other mages. Very interesting stuff, this Magi mail. He was one of the beta testers, I think. Trash bin. Ooh. Magi mail by Ben Dog? Who the heck? Ben Dog. To Hedgewiz FTW. From Ben Dog. Subject Re. Dark Powers Unleashed. Henry. So this is from Ben Dog to Hedgewiz. I'm assuming Henry is the Hedgewiz. Henry, I'm on the run again. Leading Dark Seekers on yet another merry chase. So I don't have much time. So Hoodie is already training Darker Powers. Indeed, this is much sooner than expected. We must act quickly lest he fall into the same trap as I once did. As discussed in prior Magi Mails, I've hidden the portal eyes and clues about the Academy's location and the history book at my old faculty tower. See that Hoodie finds it. ASAP. I know you're dismayed about lying to Hoodie, but rest assured, my old friend, that what we're doing is best for all of us. For Erica, for the entire realm, Hoodie cannot know what awaits him at the tower. The truth would only cloud his mind, making him fearful and angry and vulnerable. That's what Nancy wants, so she can bewitch the boy and use him for evil purpose, as she once did to me. No, Hoodie cannot know the truth of what awaits him at the Dark Tower. He must see the truth himself and face his foe with a clear and strong mind. Only then will he defeat the darkness. Stay the course, old friend. Hoodie will prevail. He must, or else we are all doomed. Regards from Benny. Ben Dog. Benny. Huh. P.S. I hope you didn't reveal that I am the boy's father in the book. I'd like to tell him myself when this nightmare has ended. Perhaps in person someday. Whoa. Interesting. I don't know what to make of this. Ben Dog. My, my, this is from my father, Benicio. That's his alias, I guess. So they're keeping in contact at some point. I don't know how old this message is. It's in the trash bin. Probably due for destruction at some point. Now, a hold right there, Hoodie. And I apologize for interrupting this riveting story of your history. Um, and how you became a mighty mage working in the employ of me, King Punchwood. But um, did you say Benny and Nancy? Did you? Did, did, did I hear that correctly? I think I did. Because that would be weird. Uh, because we have a Benny. He's right here, in fact. Hi, Benny. And we also have a Nancy. Now, Benny, you see, is... Oh, we always thought he was the village dummy, but he turns out to be quite a loyal subject. And valiant and brave and all that. Um, but Nancy, you see, she's uh, she owns a bakery right over there. And she makes fabulous cakes. But she's also an evil witch, so we stuck her in jail. Now, <clears throat> let's work this out. Because this could not be coincidence, could it? That you have a Benny and a Nancy in your story coming from your realms, Ars Magica, or whatever it is. And, uh, and now we have a Benny and a Nancy here in my town. And did you say Henry Punchwood? That's my uncle! Huh, we thought he was gone forever. Decided to take the path of wizardry instead of, you know, picking up a sword like a real man! Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, so let's, um, let's work this out. Because I happen to be quite excellent at mysteries and solving puzzles and stuff. You have to be that way. See, as a king, you must... Over here. You must know these sorts of things. So um, it's one of my specialties. Right. Now, let's let's work this out, everyone. And just pipe in if you have any information uh, you think you might be onto something. So it turns out that Benny, uh, Benicio, the Dark Lord, is your father, according to Henry. Now, he wrote some kind of a book. But he's also in cahoots right now with, uh, with Benny, Henry and Benny, doing something behind the scenes. We don't know what. Perhaps manipulating you, Hoodie. Seems that way to me. They know something that you don't know, something that awaits you at the Dark Tower. Now, I'm not ready to make a stab at what is there yet. We have to see, we have to hear more of your story. It's a lovely, riveting story, as I had mentioned moments ago. Don't push Henry, don't push Hoodie, Henry. Don't push Hoodie into the fire, man. This story's just starting to get good. Ow! Oh, ow! Oh, ow! Oh, oh, uh, the king's on fire! King's on fire! Everybody, king's on fire! Twit that out! <sighs> That's all good. I've been burned before. It'll go out in a moment. Let's just keep that off for a second. 
Somebody better fix this. This doesn't seem like it's meets regular regulation safety code. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so as I was saying, where was I? Beans? Where was I? Oh, right. So it seems like they're manipulating somehow to get you to this uh, dark tower to meet the Dark Lord, perhaps um, destroy him. But but wait a minute now. Let's back up because the Dark Lord is also your father who seems to be helping you. He gave you some information, some toys to play with, uh, some kind of magic-y stuff, right? And uh, he's trying to get you to the Dark Tower to defeat the Dark Lord, which is him. It doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, you must find Henry and get to the bottom of this. But wait, I'm good at mysteries. I'm just getting warmed up, Benny. Just getting warmed up. So, my guess is this. Well, I don't really know. Maybe you should finish the story first, since you already know. Aw, oh, shucks. Okay. Well, anyway, so, the yeah, the Dark Lord is your, your father. Makes a bunch of... Uh, Makes a bunch of trouble for everybody, right? It turns out that he's under control of a witch by the name of Nancy. So this much we know. And, um, okay, hi. Are you part of this group? Um, <clears throat> are, are you ready to continue now? Okay, good. All right, uh, lead on. Excuse me, I just... <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Go ahead. Let me get out of here. Oh, you know what I can do is just blink out. Blast right through the ceiling here. Oh man. Um, I, sh I suppose I should put that back. Uh oh. Get back in there. Oh no. Yeah, I can get back in there. Okay. Um, let's put this back in case, in case Henry comes back and he finds me here. That could be bad. He finds it missing. Hmm. All right. I don't know what to make of this. I need to think about this. So. Let's get back home. We've got some stuff to do here, Zoki. We've got some spells to craft up. Chrono Anchor. And Flight. We're going to craft those two up. And in the meantime, maybe Henry will come back. And he can shed some more light on this. But that particular Magimail <laughs> might be what we're looking for. Some names in there I recognize. Obviously, Erica, my mom. Benny, Benicio. So, interesting. This is a lot of food for thought. Doesn't clear much up, but it's a lead. Uh, okay, let's make some spells. Eh. Hi. What do we need here? Um, I think I have all... Who are you? You're new. Beat it. Okay, I think I put everything away when we first turned. And I've already got the spells in... Learned in my memory. I just have to... Craft them up. So, Chrono Anchor. Right? That was the name of it. And that is... Uh, let's see. Chrono Anchor. Ooh. That's a lot of stuff. Pretty much everything but red and white. And blah, well, pretty much not everything, but... Okay. Um, I'm just going to grab everything because it makes it easier. Chrono Anchor. And we'll go give this a try. And also Flight. Manu. Uh, the green is Veridus, orange is Orest, and Crocus, and of course the spell Parchment, and there it is, it's like a clock. If only we could come up with some sort of trigger, mana cost is a thousand, he gads. Alright, I know this is some kind of time bending spell, and I don't know if I really want to test it right now. Let's just put that away over here. <laughs> um, I might have to do a little more research on that in the meantime. I think what we're going to do next is flight. Ooh. This could come in handy. Particularly fighting a dragon, because I don't know if I want to bring Zoki in there. So this is... Uh, oh, that's... Let's levitate, right? So we need a levitate spell first. Um, I already have one. I already have one. Where's my levitate? There it is. Let's grab levitation. And let's put this in here. Excuse. And the Orest. And then the Atrium. Oh. Oh. Up, up, and away! Mana cost 180! <laughs> Excellent! Yes! Let's put it in here. Replace the levitation. And now, we should go out and try it out. Oh, you know what? I got all these other books here, too. 
Okay, let's get organized, and then we'll go try some of these spells out. New ones. Well, at least flight. Chrono Anchor, I think, might require... Just watch out! Don't dive bombing me. Might require just a little bit of caution. Okay. Oh! Oh, crystal armor! Yeah! Frizoki! I've got enough... Yeah, I do. Yep, I do. I have enough, uh... I have enough... Diamonds now. I just need glass. Okay, four. Diamond. Where's my glass? There it is. Way up top. Got it. Yeah, let's do that. So it was... Zit, zit, and zit, zit. Okay, we can do that. Dit, dit, dit. And zit, 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 zit. <gasps> Ooh, crystal mount armor. I had made this once before, didn't I? But unfortunately, when they did the transformation into Zoki, I lost that armor. Got consumed by the spell. And we have a lot of preparation to do for this Ender Dragon battle, too. So, but let's, um, yeah, let's go try this stuff out. Or maybe we'll fly over. I'll use my flight spell to go see if Henry's back. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, werewolf over there. I don't need the pork. Oh, hey, ghost. Yep. Zap. Zap. Here. Oh, that's beautiful! You might need that if you're coming along for the Ender Dragon fight. Okay, Zoki. <laughs> what do you mean you don't want to go in an Ender Dragon fight? Of course you do. It'll be fun, like a little mini vacation. If I go, he he'll go. He won't let me go. Ah, oh, you're coming for me, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try out this flight spell. This sounds fabulous. <laughs> you want to watch, Peggy? <laughs> Up, 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 and away! It's true, up, up, and away, and it's fast! Wow, Zoki, you are hereby obsolete! Just kidding. You're still, you're still my bud, and we'll still fly together. Wow, somebody's shooting at me. This guy. Ah. Still have zap. No, no, no. Zap. Zap. I got something for you, pal. How long does this flight last? That's pretty good. Oh, there's my armor kicking in. <laughs> Thanks for the golden apple. I love that magic shield kicking in with my magical armor. I'm feeling up to this fight. I'm feeling up to this foe. Two fights, in fact. First the one against the Ender Dragon. We're going to get through the Ender Dragon to get to the Dark Lord. Who happens to be on the Dark Lord, which is kind of odd. Oh, there it is. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Chrono Anchor. Check it out. Now, who wrote this? Oh, Fladnag. Good old Master Fladnag, the old uh, Archmage from the Academy. What are you guys doing down here? Anyway, Monty, chase him out. Go, go, go. Skedaddle. I need to read this in peace. How convenient that I found this uh, Chrono Anchor reference guide. Anchor yourself in time. Provides a short duration protection against death by saving the caster's current state and restoring to that point upon death. Right, so I guess it goes back in time if you die. Requires a reagent to cast... And based on, looks like based on your um, casting power, normal power would be Arcane Essence. Uh oh, typo there, Mr. Fladneck. And augmented power would equal Pure Essence. You would need Pure Essence to cast it. Worth the cost since it can save your bacon. Mm hmm. Indeed. Now that was, yes, extremely convenient. Thank you. Down here in Mom's Arcane Library, it's full of surprises. This place, and they call that fate. You see, Monty, that's fate. Fate that when you need something really badly, it is there. Do you agree? Of course, you agree. Nod. You, yeah. Okay. Now, I have this book here. I remember this one Essence for Dingbats. We never got around to this, did we, fellas? Um, I want to make an Essence Refiner, is what I need, because we need to create this Essence. Essence Lover wrote this book, Reagent Essence. Here it is. It's a crystallized form of essence that may be necessary to cast certain spells. For example, Lightning Bolt. Of course, unless you are um, have affinity, which we do. Ha-ha. And, all right. Well, that's that's cool. All right. Well, let's go. Let's check the book here. Let's see. Um, refiner. Essence Refiner. I need this right here. Oh, Diamond. Obsidian, Arcane Ash. I think I've got all of that. 
we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to make some of this to cast this spell and try it out and also use it when it's necessary to be used. And hopefully, it won't ever be necessary. Ooh, somebody growling out there. And I need a diamond. Excuse. Bunnies, bunnies everywhere. Bunnies, bunnies in my hair. And oh no! <gasps> Am I all out of it? Is that obsidian? No. Oh wait, there, there's obsidian way up top. No. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Get down here. Okay. Uh, two obsidian, and I need some wood. I've got the wood. And one last time here. Boom, 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 boom. Got it. Got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Um, was the diamond on top? The diamond's on top. Yeah, there it is. Hello, Essence Refiner. Awesome. Awesome. Let's put you over here in the corner. Right next to the empowerment machinery. And wow. Cool. Now, apparently, we put in the arcane ash here. <gasps> there it goes. It's spinning. And I think this is going to make our arcane essence, which will be right there. Now, we need to make more arcane ash. I wouldn't be on that right now, buddy. I don't think this is a good time. Might get hot. I don't know what's going to come out of that thing. Come on. Skedaddle. Go, 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 go. Beat it. Whew. Should probably close this section off. My gosh. Where did you... Do we have more? Why don't some of you go? Go to college. Get an education. Become a wizard or something. Hey. Arcane essence. Hey, wait a minute. Oh. Ha, 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 You think that's funny. You th did anybody see that? No, good. Oh my gosh. I had tons of it. Okay, well, there goes my arcane ash. Now, how do I make pure? I have to figure out how to make pure. I, don't, I can't cast augmented anyway. I can only do diminished and normal, so I guess I shouldn't have to worry about that. Well, 12 arcane ash. I'm gonna. Uh, arcane essence. I'll have to bring that along with me. That'll give me 12 chances to cast chrono anchor, and I don't think I should waste. Could cast it right now, just to see. Probably should test it, don't you think? Let's just put one down here. All right, guys. Try to kill me after I cast this spell. Okay, we need to do a test. This is the best way to do it. R&D, research and development. Here we go. And... Oh, that's the wrong spell. <laughs> Never mind. Hold on. Yeah, this is the one. And... Oh, all right, everybody attack. Bite, scratch, claw, do something. I'm invincible. <laughs> Come on. No, I mean it. Seriously, kill me. All right, never mind. Bad test. Let's go check to see. Yes, it did. It ate one arcane essence. Cost a lot, didn't it? Oh, plenty of time on that chrono anchor. Nice. That should come in handy fighting the ender dragon and then the dark lord. What do you think? We're all good here? Okay, now, I think what I do is take the compound. Gosh, it's been a long time. Break down the compound. Oh, wait, Vintium. And we cook it to make more of the ash. So why don't we just do that? I'm not sure what else we need the compound for. Oh, yeah, gold. I forgot about this stuff. When we first returned, I cooked up a bunch of junk. Okay, well, I think... Uh... Oh, there it goes. I'm going to fly over to town and... Whoa. Oh, it put me all the way back over here. Oh, I get it. It really did set. Did you guys go back in time too? Have you have you gone back a few minutes in in age? Hmm. I know your life just passes before your very eyes. You're short lived. But that put me back over here. Now that's pretty amazing. You know what I should do also is cast um, mark. I don't know if I had a mark in a while. All right, well, Chrono Anchor is pretty amazing. Now, let's fly over to town and let's impress the locals and also see if Henry's back. And then I'll get prepared for the battle. We really need to get moving. Really need to get moving. Hmm. Hey, lion. I'm up here flying. <laughs> Check it out, dude. Ow! Fine. 
just jealous. It's just jealous. Haters gonna hate. How long does this flight last? Oh. I'm not sure. 30 seconds, maybe? I really need to get augmented. Is Henry back? Yeah, it's me flying. Uh, hi, remember me? I'm the kid that used to live over there, a little angsty teen. Yeah, well, I'm flying now. <laughs> kind of like a master mage, almost. I'm getting there. Is Henry back? Uh-oh, something's... Uh, what was that? Is that my chrono anchor? Uh, uh, oh! Nope, just flight. I think I have uh, Featherfall. Um, you're not Henry. Yeah, don't mind the aura around me. That's just the powerful magical shield that protects me from damage and death and destruction. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? Let's go look for Henry. Henry! I need answers, old man. I mean, surrogate dad. He's kind of like a surrogate dad. Oh boy, he's not back yet. Oh well, I don't know what to do then. I guess I'm just gonna fly home. On my own with, with superpowers. And I guess we're just gonna have to figure out what's going on. 